Hey again, this is Sheena and this is part two of the five part series and how you can get contracts without registering in SAM.gov and going the federal route. The first thing you need to do is ensure that your business is registered with the local secretary of state and registered with the IRS with your EIN. The EIN is always free and then your secretary of state is always going to be different depending on which state you're in anywhere from $50 all the way to $500 and anything in between. So ensure that you have your business legally registered in your state and then legally registered within your city if a business license is required. Now, if there are some states where it is free um, just for new business owners and there are some states where the registration for the secretary of state is free for veterans. The number two thing you need to do, I'm going to show you right here. Okay, the next thing, y'all, we're going to head over to Trusty Google and we're going to type in, let's just go with Harvard University Procurement. And then we're going to go to, for, we're going to start with procurement first. Find a Harvard preferred vendor or purchase goods and services. Okay, I see procurement, but we're going to go to vendors. And then we're going to go to doing business with Harvard. And then we're going to go over here to current bids and see the list of current bids. And it looks like it's a downloadable item. Trusty Google and we're going to put in uh, Georgia Technical Georgia Tech Procurement. And then we're going to click on procurement here and then we're going to scroll down to supplier resources. And this is going to vary based on um, which site you go to. But in this case, they have supplier resources. And then um, sometimes you'll see where it says opportunities or bid opportunities. In this case, this actually says bidding opportunities here. So this actually takes you inside of the Georgia Tech um, bidding portal. Not every college or school is going to have their own portal. Some of them are going to default to the state or local website. But in this case, Georgia Tech has theirs and an internal portal. So as you can see here, you'll see open for bid, upcoming, closed, awarded, all. And so if we look at open for bid, we'll see what's... Oops. We'll see what's currently available. So you have um, transit study and consulting services, uh, food stall and vendor, uh, vendors, fabrication assembly, on demand, high performance computing, com computing center. That's what's currently open. And what's good about this particular website is that it shows um, anything that's upcoming that they may be looking for. They don't have anything right now, but always check to see if you can get ahead of a bid before it's out. Um, and awarded. I like to look at awarded because usually they'll show you um, what is has been awarded in the past, meaning it might come back up for up for bid again. And then also you, this is where you can get some of your pricing. I'm not going to open any of these, but if you were to look at uh, I've opened a few of these. It may show what the price was for these particular uh, contracts that have been awarded. So you just scroll through there and use this as your Use this as you collect data for your pricing. As you can see, there's a varying amount of uh, opportunities here that you can even pool maintenance. That's interesting for you to uh, gather your pricing. This is a part two, and I am so excited to show you guys how to um, go into contracting without using SAM.gov. And so stay tuned for part three.